NOAA predicting above average temperatures for the northern states this winter. We're about the sixth warmest on record. We're entering into an El Nino. And it could be a record El Nino, one of the strongest ones we've ever had. Nearly the entire country is asking the same question. Where is winter? Dances with the devil, your power isn't special. We don't fit on your canvas, we burn it all to ashes now. Cause we are the outlaws. Good morning. We are doing a vlog here, uh, sort of behind the scenes on some early season uh, guiding. We got some clients from New York today. We're gonna be doing a lot of teaching. Hello. You boys like Mexico? Yeah! And uh, we're pretty low on snow this year. So really what I wanna do is make a vlog um, to show you guys how we still have fun when we don't have epic snow. You gotta learn to drive with the fear. <laughs> There ain't nothing more goddamn frightening than driving with a live cougar in your car. Also, we're gonna be going to Cook City in between clients just to do some personal riding and have some fun. So we're gonna kind of combine this vlog here. We're gonna do behind the scenes of guiding while also going to Cook City and shredding. So um, we're here up at High Country Lodge here in the Northern Bighorn Mountains. It's the place with the most snow. Here at High Country, our day usually starts around 7.30 is when you about get up, you get out of bed. Then you go get breakfast, High Country makes all the food for you. Um, super delicious food. And then, depending on how the snow is and how busy it is, kind of tells us when we can leave the lodge. So today we're looking about a 9.15 a.m. departure time from the lodge, not a super rush. Like I said, it's early season snow conditions. We have about, about 30 inches of snow, which is not a ton for us. And uh, it's a lot for people back home usually. Uh, these guys are from New York and they were telling me 30 inches of snow is a lot of snow on the ground. We got the Jet Walker with me, as always, helping. You bet. So we got the gang today. Yep. Got Jet and Tony helping me out. Helping me out. Yep. Before we go out for a ride today, I just wanted to show you guys kind of behind the scenes of uh, one of our lodging partners here, Wyoming High Country Lodge. So if you don't know about Wyoming High Country Lodge, it's a more secluded lodge here in the Bighorns. It's kind of it's in its own unique location in the far reaches, so it means there's less traffic and uh, usually more power and shred. This is where you check in. You got Aaron over there. Aaron's usually the one who's probably checking me in. It's the manager here. Also got a beer fridge, essential. Coffee bar, pretty essential for the morning. So usually our days kind of start here around 7.30, 8 o'clock. You come in and get your breakfast. This is kind of the main hangout area where you get dinner. It's always delicious meals. Um, you got a TV if you want to put on a scope film or a 509 film, whatever you like to watch. Maybe a slow wire film. You can uh, get it set up and Pretty, cool, pretty fun hanging out with your buddies, sitting on the couch and watching sled films while your some of those are sitting outside. Got a nice fireplace for you. In addition to having cabins to rent as well, they also have super nice hotel rooms. So check out the roof. So if you keep going out this hallway, you'll see the hot tub. But Can I get a hot tub? Here is uh, here's one of the rooms, it's a double queen. Super nice and cozy, modern room, super clean. Um, the bathroom, each room has their own bathroom. The bathrooms are just super nice and clean. Just overall, just super, super simple, but also very clean and uh, very cozy. Let's go, uh, let's go check out the hot tub. All right. So super important piece. Uh, when the snow is deep and you're just dead deep tired, they have a hot tub. Uh, every sledder loves a hot tub. I personally sit in it myself when we can. Uh, this super, I don't know, super simple thing. Yeah. Don't break anything today. No. We're gonna you gotta take it easy. 
me. Take it easy. Is that in your vocabulary? No. No. I don't think I should so. Have said that. You shouldn't have. I'll give you a little taste of what it's like to uh, be on a guided trip with us. So let's do it. Look at this untouched meadow. Yeah, buddy. What are you waiting for? I would have torn up already. Tearing it up. Dude, that's so awesome. We were learning all of this yesterday. Now he's a pro. Oh, <laughs> where does it say that? Yeah! Guide to the rescue. Go get him, boys. Silas got the first stuck of the day. <laughs> Bound to happen. Bound to happen. First stuck of the day. Beers are on you. They were on me yesterday, too. True. Two days in a row, the beers are on you. You're going to be broke. Just like that. We are out. Great success. Yeah. Great success. Wow. Getting Western over there. Okay. I got last place. I got last place. That's half a donut. <laughs> All right. We're going to do a little donut challenge here. Pick your spot. Round one. Fight. That's a donut in the half. One and a half donuts. Oh, negative one points. And a half donut. What were you doing? I was donutting. Let's see Tony's got. I gotta be one and a half. Oh, what was that? Two and a half? <laughs> I think I counted four. Yep, I think you got her. You goons. It looks like you're planting flowers. I don't know what I just oh. did. Wait, 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 I gotta get a picture of that. I don't know what I just did. It's that is not a park job. Park job. I'm counting it as a park job. I, uh, as long as you can get her stuck. Wait, 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 I gotta get a picture. I'm gonna see how many bow ties I can do right here. I'm gonna guess four. That's four at best, three, possibly five. We'll see how we're feeling. I don't know if I have enough room for five. One. I'm saying one. How many did you guess, Tony? I'm gonna say one. That wasn't consistent. One. You got one. This guy was out here talking about five in a row. Come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sucker. 
So there's that's the groomed trail. This is this slid naturally. This wasn't caused by us. This is old, but so that's why we're on it. It's pretty safe. But just super fascinating. It slid from up there all the way to the groomed trail. Huh. All right. So we're calling a bit of an audible here. We were gonna ride Cook City, but now we're actually gonna go ahead to the Beartooth and Top of the World Resort and uh, ride with Mason Miller there, who uh, owns a guide and rental company and the lodge up there at Top of the World. And uh, we're gonna go check out snow conditions and the Beartooth, see how they're doing. I heard it's a little better than Cook City right now. That's why we called the audible, but all in all, it should be a good day. We guided yesterday. Now we're gonna go ride for fun and hopefully find some fun stuff. We got your boy Mason Miller. What's up, dogs? Top of the world. Yep. Hell yeah! First time on a sled wild vlog, dude. Yeah, man. Tell me what you got. To, tell me what you got going here. Where well, are we? we got the top of the world store here. This is our gift shop here. We got a couple hotel rooms over here. Four of them. Eight person barrel sauna. We got the snow cat for uh, late night adventures, which we might get to do later. Um, and then behind we got a big lodge too and we can hold quite a bit of people in there as well So yeah. come check us out. We're gonna go ride and hopefully have some fun. Hell yeah, dude And what season this is season number three up here. Yep. Right? Yeah, yeah Third season. Go on season three. Well, you heard it from the man himself Mason So if you haven't heard of the Beartooth range or top of the world the Beartooths are such a super unique area Man, I haven't found a place that's like the Beartooths. The terrain here is so cool. There's so many different like pillow fields and I don't even know how to explain it. The natural, it's just, the natural features up here are unmatched. Yeah. I mean, it's awesome. The it's tree like, riding has perfect spacing. Yep. Um, there's just so much more riding too compared to Cook City. I mean, yeah. it's like 10 Cook Cities put yeah. together. It's close to Cook City, Montana, but it's a much, much bigger area. It does not get nearly as much traffic. So there's usually, Mason will take you to spots that haven't seen a sled probably all season, you know? So it's a much bigger area to play in and the whole area is like a terrain park. And then you get to come back here to to the lodge here and it's just the perfect setup. So I'm super jealous. I'm definitely super jealous of his setup. It's super unique. So yeah, we're gonna go shred now. He's gonna show us what he's got here in his backyard. Gummy snacks, man. Gummy 
Curtis got his gummies. Happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.